Okay, so now you have seen the cinematic sequence that we're going to be putting together, and our next step is to build the thing. Now, our first step, the first thing we're going to do is bring in the skeletal mesh that will be threatening the player, doing the little throat slit and all of that stuff. Now, this will not be the same actor which is going to go hunt down our character and shoot him. We're actually going to do a little bit of sleight of hand. We'll start off with a skeletal mesh because a skeletal mesh can be animated with matinee. We can actually tell that skeletal mesh to perform a specific animation, but we can't tell a skeletal mesh to just immediately start hunting down the player and shooting at them. So what we'll do is we'll perform this animation and then when it's done, we'll destroy out that skeletal mesh and then spawn in an AI bot, which will take care of the rest of the work for us. However, before we do any of that, we need a skeletal mesh in here. So go ahead and open up your content browser and I'm going to click all assets and clear out my search line. And I want you to type in Liam, L-I-A-M. And that will bring up SK underscore CH Liam Cathode. And let's just drag this guy out of the content browser. Now here inside the view, I'm going to set this guy up on top of the ground. So tap spacebar, slide him up, and I got to get him away from that static mesh so I can see where his feet touch the ground. And there he is right on the ground. Now currently my drag, uh, drag, my drag grid settings are at four. So if you want uh, to have the same amount of snap, you can use that. Now I'm going to rotate this guy so that he's looking right at the door. So we'll tap spacebar, and there we go. So now he just needs a weapon. Let's go back to the content browser, and we'll empty this out. And I want you to search for link gun. So one word, L-I-N-K-G-U-N, -N, and narrow down to skeletal meshes only. And there's SKWP Link Gun 3P. That's the third person version. So make sure you're using that one. And I already closed the content browser. So I'll just do add actor, add skeletal mesh, like so. Now, we need to put this into the character's hand. I mean, we could sit here and try to actually line it up with his right hand, but that's time consuming. What we're going to do instead is make sure that we have the Link Gun selected. Then up in the main toolbar, click Enable Disable Socket Snapping. It's got the little red trapezoid and a black arrow on the button. Click that, and then click on the robot's right hand, and you're finished. At that point, go ahead and disable the button, and then deselect the link gun, and there you go. So he's already holding the gun. As a matter of fact, if we animate the skeletal mesh at this point, everything's already linked as well, so the link gun will actually move around with his hand, which is pretty great. Now, that's all I really wanted to do here. We're using this guy really just as a prop to help keep things nice and organized. Here in just a moment, we're going to animate a camera. And now with that robot here, we have something that we can actually focus on and zoom in on, knowing exactly where he's going to be in the view and how we can frame him up. So that's our first step, which is going to wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go.